NEW TONIGHT, AN INDEPENDENT SHELTER FOR YOUNG PREGNANT WOMEN AND THEIR BABIES FINALLY BACK OPEN. MOTHER'S REFUGE WAS DESTROYED IN A FIRE MORE THAN TWO YEARS AGO. KMBC 9'S KEISHA HENRY IS THERE TONIGHT AS THE MOTHERS AND THEIR BABIES ARE GETTING READY TO BE WELCOMED BACK HOME. The fire was absolutely devastating. There were four women and three babies living here at the time. But now they have this beautifully redone home with six women and five babies getting ready to be welcomed back here on Monday. During this past two years, the women have been staying at a local conference center. The cause of the fire is still undetermined, but the community really jumped in to help with the rebuilding process, donating everything from the windows to the roof. And the women who live at Mother's Refuge say they don't know where they would be without this place. Sometimes at night when I don't get that much sleep, they'll take my baby and watch her for a little bit. And they help, like, if I have to go do something. And they help with daycare, getting my baby into daycare while I go to work. And Robert, the executive director, says after a tragedy, one of two things can happen. You can be destroyed from it or you can grow from it. And Mother's Refuge has definitely done the latter. Since the fire, they've been able to improve. They now have this big basement for recreational activities, plus a new computer lab and even a new laundry room. Reporting in Independence, Keisha Henry, KNBC 9 News. Mother's Refuge has helped more than 1,400 young mothers and their babies since 1987.